What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Super Luigi Galaxy. In the last part, we did the rest of Battle Rock Galaxy as well as the Hungry Luma Star, the Sling Pod Galaxy. In this part, we're going to do Bowser Star Reactor. Now, this is the first out of the Bowser-oriented levels, so we get to finally confront Bowser. And don't worry, we're nowhere near the end of the game. But this is the Fire Bowser, the Fire Stronghold. This is going to be the second of the Grand, the, the third of the Grand Stars Galaxy, the Gateway Galaxy. But uh. But anyway, we have to base it on where it's all. Oh, the listeners music! Yeah. Oh yeah, nice Mario 64 throwback right here. But uh You know, when I was younger when I, the first time I ever played this, like I thought something was under here, but if you actually go down there, like it'll result in a death, so um yeah, don't fall for that. So uh this does look like something that you can go under, but no, it, it, it's an instant death. Now be careful of those uh, thwomps, because those thwomps, if they squash you, it's instant death. So a lot of things, believe it or not, in this game can instantly kill you, but I have to talk to this guy. The gravity here is a lot of whack. Check out the arrows. So yeah, the arrows are going to control the gravity, much like it, how it did in the, uh, that area in the uh, Battle Rock Galaxy. Now be careful not to fall in the uh, black holes. Okay, I gotta uh, yeah, I gotta wait to make sure that's out of the way. I wouldn't say this level is really too hard, and uh, fighting Balbar I don't really think it's too hard either. But uh, yeah, we're at forty-two lives because we just got a we got a shit ton of them in the uh, Sling Pod Galaxy, but uh. I like how they're basically flood from Mario Sunshine, but they shoot fire. But uh, I don't think they're actually flood. They're just a different like version of that. But uh, but anyway, if we go up here, anyway, so he's gonna basically uh, he's gonna shoot uh, fireballs. And however, make sure to grab this. We got a life extension, so uh, we gotta basically. It's not really hard to do this, but like we just gotta basically uh, get up here and uh, I love this dialogue, by the way. Boo! You finally made it. Just in time for me to stomp you into space pets. I like how that's Bowser's version of Star Beth. Like Bowser thinks Space Beth is gonna come out of Luigi, but uh. Anyway, the way you fight Bowser is that he's basically going to jump, and uh, he's going to try to zap you. And then he's going to, um... I didn't actually pull that right. Just stand on one of these, and, over, and overall he's going to, um... He's going to burn himself by falling and jumping on one of those. Eventually you got to hit his tail, and then he's going to spin, and then spin him while he's hitting. And that's how, that's how you basically hit him. And we're stomping him in a space pit, and he's going to breathe fire... He's gonna do his uh, thing, but he's gonna actually do two. So, uh, what he's gonna do is uh, do the same thing he did before, just get his tail on fire, and uh, if I can actually, you know, get to Bowser. But uh, so if you if you take too long, also he'll he'll just burn his tail off. But anyway, so uh, he's gonna move and spin. So uh, and now he gets really pissed on the third hit, but uh. I love the music in the Bowser fights, by the way, but, uh... Now he's gonna, um... I think he's gonna add a third. Yeah, he is. He's gonna go here and... Get his tail on fire once again, and, uh... If we can just, uh... Go here and attack Bowser. And then go on the other side. And he's gonna go spin faster, and that's it! That's Bowser! What ho! Foolish Luigi, my plan is too far along now. You really think you can stop me? Whoa ha 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 ha. And that is our third grand star. 
We're just gonna go through a cutscene in the observatory and we'll see where to go next. Another area is gonna open. It's gonna open and it's gonna be this area right here. We discovered a new galaxy and we discovered four new galaxies. That's what you get when you get more stars. But um You rescued another grand star and powers returned to another dome in the back of the observatory. Hmm, I don't think we have the star power to mean to fly the observatory through the universe. The villain who was kidnapped is special and took her far from here to the center of the universe. Once our star powers are sorted, this observatory will go. I forgot to read that bit. Then we'll reunite with a special one. I'm not gonna save just yet, but uh. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna check out the uh. I think this is the uh. The bedroom. So uh. Yeah, so we're, it's the kitchen, so uh, not the bedroom, but uh, we're just gonna grab another one up. You can get you can get that one up every time you start up your file, but uh, but anyway, so we're gonna go to the kitchen. I think we can get a couple stars out of the way in the kitchen, believe it or not, because it's a one star galaxy, but uh, we discovered an enemy base in the region. We only hope they're not misusing the power of that poor grand star, anyway, so we can already discovered the back. The enemy mission, but uh, we're just gonna do this star right here, which is the uh, Bubble Breeze Galaxy. Now, I think we should also be able to discover a new galaxy out of this. We should be able to get both of these down there, but uh, I guess we'll go to the Bubble Breeze Galaxy. Star. Now, do the plus now. Now, I should also point out this is one of the few stars in the whole game you can get 50 coins in, so we're actually gonna try to see if I can show that off. But anyway, so if you go on, if I like goop, it's instant death, but, um, let's get some star bits. Our main concern is going to be more getting 50 coins rather than 50 star bits, but, uh, let's see if we talk to these toads. Our glorious starship, the starship, it crashed. Let's see what the other toad does. Let's see what this blue toad has to say. This is a poisonous swamp. If you fall in there, you're done for. The yellow toad says, I don't want to fall in. The purple toad says, Oh, I think I broke my bubble bone. <laughs> Toads have bubble bones, but anyway. Hey, before you ride any bubbles, let your, your truly billboard here bend you here for a second. You can move around your bubble by holding down an A, but if you do it while you're blowing on the bubble, you can go too far on one side and use the corner blowing the other side. So, yeah. We basically had to, we basically have to use blow, we have to kind of use the uh, bubble to, uh, Use the A button with the uh, to push the bubble in. Also, if you hit Z, um, it'll cancel the bubble. So, uh, yeah, never mainly never press the Z button if you're in the if you're in the poisonous swamp, which that instantly kills you. So, uh, there's also a lot of things that can kill the that can pop the bubble, like a lot of spike things. So, uh, yeah, just be uh, wary of that. We have to get the star chips. All right. Let's, um... Alright, alright. I wasn't kidding when I said it's one of the few stars in the game you get 50 coins in. We already have 9 coins, but, uh, there's some more coins right here. I'm gonna try to see if I can get all, go for all these coins. Because you can you, I know, I've gotten 50 coins in this level before, but, uh, the only problem is, unlike Star Bits, if you die in a level, your coin count resets to zero, so just be a little careful if, if you're trying to go for 50 coins in this level. It's almost, I wouldn't even say it's really worth it maybe to get the one up. Because you're taking a huge gamble. We're taking a huge gamble for trying to go for 50 coins.
So yeah. Actually, no, I want to get this. More coins. We're already halfway to uh, 50 coins, so um... Get that. Get that coin. Get that coin. Get that coin. Get that coin. It's just a coin. Give, it, give me the coin. I'll just, okay, I'll have to take the L then, but uh... We have 34 coins, so uh... This is the next bit, but let's see if we get 50 star bits, which we did. We might get 50 star bits and 50 coins. Let's see what this. Let's see what good old billboard says. Hey, I forgot to tell you something. So if you get in a bubble and you want to get back to the surface, just press Z to get down. I already explained that. Oh, if you get pinched between moving obstacles, that big wall is going to burst. So watch out. That could have been good to say earlier, but uh, I already explained it earlier. If you were trying to play this for the first time, watch this playthrough. Now these things right here, these can also blow, up, make the bubble burst, but uh. Now, if we go over here, we actually, uh, we can get a whole lot of, bunch of star bits. We might get uh, a total of three one-ups if, if this gamble pays off. So we don't have a, we don't exactly have a hundred star bits, never mind, but, uh... Alright, I'm trying to... Right, I'm waiting for the next, but I'm waiting for the next stop. Which is right here. No, do not pop this bubble. I've seen, I've had the bubble pop in this area before, but uh. Oh yeah, 50 coin one up. I knew it was gonna happen at some point in this playthrough. Now, um. Now we have to kinda pop in, uh. And then we have to, um... We're not gonna get 100 coins, so don't worry about it. Um, 100 coins the one up here in Galaxy 2, but uh, they hand out coins more frequently but in Galaxy 2, but uh, I'm not gonna risk getting that one up. Well, we're at the star, so I'm not complaining, but um... Anyways, that was Bubble Breeze Galaxy. I think I think we also get to unlock one more one-star galaxy, which I actually really like a lot, so it'll be a good way to end this video. And Rosalina's library is open. Now you can read the storybook. Oh yeah, so um what we're gonna do now is, uh, I guess the, the very last thing we can do in this video, since we haven't opened up the new galaxy, is, uh, check out Rosalina's storybook. The library's in, so, um... Let us begin. Let us begin. Chapter 1, the, the Celestial Duo. Once your story, our story begins a very, very long time ago with a young girl. One day this girl spotted a rusted spaceship, only a very small, smart, small star child. What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asked the star child. I'm Luma and I'm waiting for Mama. She's coming to me on a comet, said the star child who had been waiting all day and night. Don't worry, I'll wait with you. The little girl promised Luma. At nightfall, the little girl borrowed her father's telescope and peered into the sky. She looked and looked and saw nothing. Hours turned into days and then years, but still the sky revealed nothing. Finally, the little girl sighed and said to Luma, If we stay here looking much longer, I'll be an old lady soon. But then she had an idea. Why don't we go f out there and find your, your mother ourselves? The girl and Luma fix up the rusty spaceship, and the two set sail in the starry sky. That's how the search for the celestial mother began. Chapter 2, Star Bits. Days passed with no sight of the comet or even a single planet. Instead, asteroids extended for as far as the eye could see. 
If I had known it was going to take it this long, I would have picked more jam, said the little girl above the rumble of her belly. Before they left, she had packed all these essentials. Telescope, butterfly, net, stuff, money, bread, milk, jam, and apricot filled with tea. However, I forgot to bring water. At this point, Luma burst into gales of laughter and the girl began to pout. As far as I have, as long as I have starved, it's all be fine, said Luma. Want some? The little girl couldn't say mad after hearing this. Luma continued to laugh and the girl couldn't help but join in. Alright, maybe just a nibble. Leaning out of the ship, the pair could begin to collect star bits with the girl's nest. They almost fell out a few times, but they kept on collecting. The star bits tasted like honey. Chapter 3, The Comet. A beam of light peered through the ship's window, thinking it was the morning sun. The girl peered through the window only to find a turkish blue comet shingling at her. The little girl shook the sleeping woman woke and shouted excitedly, we have to get to that comet. The pair descended on the comet and found that it was just made of ice. It looked high and low, but Luma's mother was nowhere to be found. Exhausted, the little girl sat down with a flop. I really am able to take another step. Look. Hearing down at the icy ground where Luma was pointing, the little girl suddenly noticed cluster star bits encased with ice. Pretty good at us. Nine star bits is my specialty, said Luma, beaming. There's ice here, but it's so warm, but I bet there's water here, too. The suit decided to stay on the comet for a while. Ryan the turkey's comet, the pair continued to search for Luma's mother. So, yeah. That should do it for today. This story is gonna take brutal turns, so, uh, that's basically what we're gonna, what we're gonna tackle later, but, uh, yeah, so that's going to do it for this part of uh, Super Luigi Galaxy. So next time on Super Luigi Galaxy, uh, we're going to try to see what we can do in the uh, kitchen. See you guys then.